anything we heard this morning. I can't tell it because guys like you wouldn't believe me. Yeah? Well, give. Oh, no. You think those guys were lying, you'd really flip at this one. You, I can believe. And after all that routine I heard this morning, I need something believable. Well, all right. But hang on to your seat. I work in a bee store out in Nebraska. I'd only been with Sears for a couple of weeks. But I'd been through all the pitches and I was ready to use them to get prospects. What a stinker that day started out to be. Till the morning was almost gone, you could have shot a cannon past my stand. It was like working in a cemetery. I was working. At least I was trying. But when people aren't in the store, you can't get prospects. That's all there is to it. By 10.30, I hadn't got a single lead. Then along came the crew manager with a guy from the zone office. I'd never met him. But he's also our chief trainer, the man we've been listening to today. Right away, he starts asking me how many names I'd got. Well, Smith, how many names did you get this morning? Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. Prospects? On a day like this? No, not prospects. Names. That's all you want. Well, what good's a name if, if they don't want to buy? How do you know they don't? People won't tell you what they want to buy right here. I don't get it. Look, all you're looking for during your floor time is names, people to call on. Don't waste your time trying to sell here. Unless, of course, you get a real hot one. Just get their name and address and let them go. You mean all you want is names? Names, that's all. Just names and addresses. Heck, if that's all you want, I can get you a million of them. But it won't sell any vacuum cleaners. I gotta sell. I can't eat names. If I'm gonna sell, I gotta have live ones, prospects. Look, uh, it's slow today, so I'll make a deal with you. How many names do you think you can get me by 12 o'clock? An hour and a half from now. Just names, nothing else. Just names and addresses. Oh, I guess 50 or so. Just names, though. All right, I'll make a deal. You take any pitch you like, work it the rest of the morning, and I'll buy the lunch if you can give me uh, 20 names. That's a sucker deal. You're on. Okay, we'll see you at noon, then. And it was a sucker deal. I got out my clipboard ruled off for the survey pitch and I started talking to everyone who went by. A lot of them didn't want to talk to me, but plenty of them did. And by noon, I talked to a total of 190 people. and got 27 names and addresses. How many? 190 people, 27 names and addresses. That's what I thought you said. I knew you wouldn't believe it. You talked to 190 people in an hour and a half? That's right. Oh, wait a minute, 90. It's about one every 45 seconds. That's faster pitching than I've ever seen. Can't be done. Sure it can. Look, how long does it take to make a survey pitch? I don't know, I never timed it. All right, look at your watch. Ready? Shoot. Good morning. I wonder if you'd help me with the survey we're making. Which of those vacuum cleaners do you prefer? The tank or the upright? The upright? 
And may I have your name and address? Thank you. And by the way, which type do you have now? Thank you, Mrs. Summers. How long did it take? 24 seconds. All right, so you did talk to 190 people. And you did get 27 names. And you did get a free lunch. But brother, that didn't get you any commissions. Just a bunch of names and addresses. That's what you think. You know how many of those names I closed? I can guess. OK, guess. One, if you were lucky. Probably none. Five, at all top of the line. And I'll probably close three more before the month is out. Ah, I don't believe it. I knew you wouldn't. So forget I ever mentioned it. Five, from just names and addresses. How in the heck could that be? It's what they were talking about this morning. Pitch, plant, and profit. Two weeks with Sears and you sell five machines. Beats me. It's a system, I tell you. It can't miss. Look, maybe I'm stupid. You tell me how. What's with this plant business? Simplest thing you ever saw when you know how. When we got back from my free lunch that day, the zone man was ready to follow through. It's a nice list of names you got this morning, Smith. Now, uh, what are you going to do with them? Well, they're only names, but I guess I might as well go out and see them and try to demonstrate to them. Good. And uh, how are you going to do it? I'll go up to the door and try to get in with the machine. But how? Uh, tell me what you'll say. Well, I'll ring the bell and greet her and ask her if I can bring in the cleaner she saw in the store this morning. Want to try another experiment? I think this will pay off for you. Sure. What can I lose? All right. Let's take 12 names and see how many of them you can leave a cleaner with today. Just leave it with them to try overnight. OK. Let me see that list. I'll pick out the hottest ones. Well, pick them if you like. But don't be too certain about who's the hottest. Remember, all you got was names. You didn't qualify them. Some of the coldest ones may be the closest to buying. So take the hottest first if you want to. But work them all. Don't miss any. Well, we're off again on what looked like a crazy scheme. This guy from the zone office seemed to know what he was doing, so I went along. He told me to talk to the woman when she opened the door. All I was supposed to do was plant a machine there so she could use it overnight. I wasn't supposed to sell unless the prospect was really ready to buy. That's the plant part of the pitch, plant, and profit. You plant the machine and let the sale grow. Yeah, but you make it sound so easy. They're not going to take a machine in just because you're standing there offering it to them. That's just it. You don't stand there with the machine. It's in your car. Now, here's the system. You go up to the door with nothing in your hands at all. That way, they're not on guard. But you're ready to plant the machine without giving them a chance to object. Good afternoon, Mrs. Wilbur. You remember me, don't you? I'm Mr. Smith from Sears, oh. the man who talked with you this morning. Now, I know you told me you weren't ready to buy a cleaner, but you also told me you didn't have one. And from the tidy appearance of your home, I know you must work awfully hard using a broom or a carpet sweeper. Since you're a regular Sears customer, we'd like to have you use one of our new cleaners in your home to do your cleaning this week. And when I come back to pick it up, you can let me know what you think. Because Sears likes to get our customers' opinions on our merchandise. There's no obligation, and it's on Sears' courtesy basis. I'll just run to my car and get you one. I always carry several with me, and since I was in the neighborhood, I thought you might like to clean your home the easy Kenmore way this week. I'll be right back. When you've finished, you don't wait for her to say yes or no. She's usually a little bewildered. And if you don't give them much time, they won't say anything. And before they've really had a chance to decide, you're back with the machine. I'm sure you're going to like this cleaner, Mrs. Wilbur. Most of the women prefer it. It's our top model. Now, now I know how busy you must be, so it'll only take a moment to show you how the cleaner really works, and then I'll leave it with you. Pretty slick. And once you're in the house, you start pitching, Close them quick, get out. No, not according to this plan of planting. You really leave the cleaner as you promised. You leave it to sell itself, and believe me, it does. You give the prospect a quick demonstration without trying to sell. Only show her enough that she's able to run it properly. Let her discover the rest for herself. And I'm not kidding. That cleaner sells itself. You always leave the top model, and it's usually the top model they buy. Well. Are they tough to sell when you go back? Tough? They're all easy. The selling's all done for you. If you can't close the deal on the first call back, just leave the machine and come back again. It's as easy as that, huh?
doggone it, I'm going to try it. It'll make money for you. I planted five cleaners on my first five calls, and within two days, four of them bought. And the fifth one came in the store the next day and signed the order. Man, that's hard to believe. I knew you wouldn't believe it. But just try it. It will work. I don't know how many others are using it, but believe me, everyone should. I can tell you how many others are using it. This three P's plan has caught fire all over the country. Here, let's take a look at these reports. They're from all sections of the country. Here, let's take a few off the top. Madison, Wisconsin. The vac salesman's pitches gave him 28 names in two hours. The next day, he planted seven, and his profits were five sales. Richmond, Virginia. 18 names in 45 minutes. Nine plants. And profits? Six sold. In Sacramento, four salesmen made profits like this. 28 units sold in one week, 28 more the second week. Burlington, Vermont. Pitches, 25 names in two hours. Plants two with two profits the same night and more to come. In Marshall, Texas, a combination salesman's pitching gave him 53 names in one week. Planted 18, profited with 14. A new salesman in Cleveland reports another way to profit. He delivered 14 guarantee bonds and got 48 more names. He planted 11 and profited 11. And he's averaged nine a week for the last five weeks. That's real profit. And there must be 50 more like that here. Temple, Texas, Philadelphia, Chicago. You know what all this means? Just this. We've been telling ourselves all along that Sears cleaners sell themselves. But what have we been doing about it until now? Not enough. We've been out selling hard and furiously, beating our brains out, when all we really needed to do was let the machine sell itself in a woman's home. That's why the three P's plan is working. You pitch on the floor to get a name. You plant a machine to sell itself. Then you go back and pick up your profit. You fellas don't have to work alone anymore. You've all got an assistant as many assistants as you want, the cleaners you sell. Just plant one in a prospect's home, let it go to work for you. Plant it well, and let it grow into a sale. Try it once, and I'll bet that you'll have a story that's hard to believe, too.